everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all safe and well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Rosina. I create makeup, skincare and a bit of lifestyle content here on this channel. So if you are interested in any of that, then subscribe down below. But for today's video, I'm gonna do something that I absolutely love doing and that is testing out a new skincare product. Now this isn't new to the market, this is just new to myself. Once in a while I go on to Cult Beauty and I select some products that kind of jump out at me or other influencers have suggested when I've watched their videos and I test them out for you guys because everyone's skin's different and I just want to give you my opinion on the product. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out something that's a bit more on the pricey side and I have seen a lot of people recommend this in other videos. It is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturising Cleanser. I love this packaging, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So, if you want to see what I think of this product and what it does to my skin, then just keep on watching. I'm gonna read some information for you guys. So this is 120 ml worth of product and it was 34 pounds, but I did get it with, I think it was about 10% off. So it's about 30 pounds. It is a big tube of product, so I really like that. So the information on the box says that it is a creamy nourishing cleanser enriched with soothing goat's milk, natural milk, polypeptides, and nourishing manuka honey gently removes impurities, oil, and makeup without stripping skin of essential moisture. Now at the minute, I do have a bit of a cold, and it is winter, and when I have a cold and it's winter, I get super dry skin, like my skin around my nose. I put on a hyaluronic acid moisturizer, and that always saves my skin, but for some reason, my nose is just super red and dry at the minute, so I'm hoping this will save my skin. It is sulfate free and it cushions as it cleanses, leaving skin soft, smooth and healthy looking. Now, I'm not just gonna test this today, I am gonna test it over the next week, using it twice a day, so it's currently in the morning, I've just had a shower, which is why my hair looks how it does. I never really like my hair on the day I wash it, I don't know what it is at the minute, but anyway. So I'm gonna try this twice a day and let you know what I think. On Cult Beauty, where I bought this product from, it says it is perfect for all skin types. It does say on here that it's good for sensitive skin. Kate Somerville's Gently Moisturizing Goat Cleanser, um, as it says, doesn't strip skin and it removes dirt and impurities and makeup. It's now enhanced with a non-foaming creamy formula. Formulated with brands utterly adored soothing goat milk, which is rich in natural milk proteins, nourishing manuka honey, as I said, as well as conditioning and moisturizing jojoba and avocado oils. This is an absolutely must try that you won't regret investing in. So I'm really excited to try this because some nourishing cleansers and higher end brands use almond oil in some of their products. So I was really excited to see that I can actually test this product. If you don't know, I have a nut allergy and so my skin is very sensitive if there is like almond oil or any nut oil in a cleanser or any skincare or makeup products. So it's really good that this doesn't contain anything harsh or that I can't use. So I'm really excited to test this out. It just says to use twice a day and you just need to apply a small amount of damp skin and neck and massage for 30 seconds, rinse and gentle pat dry. So, I'm like I said, I'm gonna try this twice a day for the next week. It's currently Saturday, so I'll do this until next Saturday. And I'll try and film it every time I use it, but probably here and there. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see my skin before we even go in with this product and just to see how it does like what it does to my skin on the first try. Please do excuse my eyebrows, it is the new year, I haven't actually had them done in quite a while, so they look a bit all over the place, but this is what my skin looks like. Like I said, it's dry around my nose, I've got a few impurities, it just feels really dry and crusty, not very nice. I have just had a shower, as I said, and I didn't wash my face in the shower like I usually do because I wanted to test this out for you guys. So my skin is just feeling a little bit dry. Just not its best. So I wanna see whether this has a smell. It's got, obviously, it's got a cap on it. It's 
actually New Year's Day when I filmed this, so happy New Year. Like I say, I've got a cold, but usually it doesn't have a smell, which I really like. I can't smell anything, it smells clean. Yeah, it doesn't smell of anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and dampen my face and grab a damp face cloth and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've just pushed my hair back off my face with a hairband. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my face cloth and just lightly dampen my skin. I do have a spot here which is also very annoying. And as I say, I always have very reactive skin. See how I've gone red already and I've just patted my skin. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. It's very thick, it's like a moisturizer texture. Very thick. Again, I can't smell anything. So I'm just gonna lather it up in my hands and just rub it into my skin. I like the thickness of it. It feels very nourishing. It doesn't really lava. Okay, so that's rubbed in, and then I'm just gonna use this just to gently massage it off of my skin. And then I always use a bit of my flannel just to exfoliate my lips. I'm gonna zoom you back in. It does feel super soft and nourished. I don't have any more of the dryness around here. It feels very soft. And I also feel like it's weight, like woken up my skin a little bit. Like I don't look so dark and, I don't know how to put it, just gives me a little bit of glow and I really like that. I'm, I love that it's just made my skin really soft and smooth. Let me know what you guys think so far. But as I said, I'm gonna try this twice a day. So I'm actually gonna put on makeup today because I've got some other videos to film. So I'll try this again tonight and we'll see how it works. And I'll try it every day in the morning and in the evening for the next week. And then I'll let you know my thoughts next Saturday. Hi everyone. So it has been about a week and a bit. I haven't jumped back on um, reviewing this product. I've just kind of been using it every day, morning and evening. Excuse my hair, I just need it out my face to be able to do this video. But I've, I've been testing out the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Cleanser for, like I said, about a week and a half. And I'm gonna show you, but I am loving this product. It makes my skin feel clean without making it feel dry. I'm gonna zoom in rising so you can see my skin. So this is how it's looking. It's still red. It's going to be a process. Um, I've been watching Cassandra Banks. I think it's Cassandra Bankson? Bankson? I think it's something like that. Cassandra on YouTube and she's really good at explaining all things about skincare and I've been obsessed with watching her videos. So she says that your skin has a 28 day turnover. So anything you use in your skin, you need to use it for 28 days to see a difference and even within a week I've noticed a difference in my skin I'm getting less spots I haven't had any breakouts and the breakouts that I've had before are going down they don't feel as irritated and this product is so gentle on my skin I think it's perfect if you have dry skin and find cleansers stripping and you only need a tiny amount and it's just so sort of creamy so I'm going to show you what I've been doing so I've got my flannel here I'm just going to dampen my skin and then what I've been doing is I put a little bit on my hand, not much at all, don't need much of this and then I just slowly massage it in and then what I've been doing is doing this, so I put a bit more water on my hands, usually my face is like dripping wet and I just do this on my skin and then just massage it in. And doing this ensures that that product's getting deep into my skin. It doesn't foam up. It feels a bit like a thick moisturiser, which I quite like. It doesn't like get in my eyes, doesn't burn at all if it gets in your eyes. And then I just do this for about 30 seconds. Just massaging it into my skin. I also go down my chin, because I sometimes I have like a spot here at the minute. 
I just want to make sure it's all clean, there's nothing down there, no products that are sitting on my skin for too long. Massage it in. And then I take my flannel again, and I don't want to rub too hard, but I just want to sort of lightly take this off my skin. And in the evening, I'm really gentle, like super gentle with my skin. And I try not to rub it too much because I do have very reactive skin and I don't want to make my skin really red. I look so pale today. And now it just feels super soft, super hydrated. This is amazing for winter. I'm not too sure if I'll use it in the summer just because my skin gets a lot more oily in the summer. But for winter, this has saved my skin and has kept me, like if I feel in the evening that my skin's just got dry throughout the day and I haven't drunk enough water, which I need to do more of. I'm not very good at drinking water, so I need to hydrate from within as well as from the outside to really help my skin. But if I feel like my skin just feels a bit dehydrated, I put this on and my skin feels so clean but so hydrated and I love it. It's just so nice. Like I feel clean, refreshed, ready to put on the rest of my skincare. So yeah, I would highly, highly recommend this, especially if you have dry, like flaky skin, this will be a lifesaver. It's not an exfoliating cleanser, which I really like because a lot of the cleansers that I've been enjoying are exfoliating and that's caused my skin to go through over exfoliation. But this is super soft and gentle, doesn't strip the skin at all. It's really moisturizing, really helps with my breakouts and gets rid of any makeup that's left on my skin after I clean, like cleanse it with my cellar water. So yeah, I am absolutely loving this, so I'd definitely go and check this out. I am testing some other Kate Somerville products at the minute, so I will let you know what I think of those, and I'll do a monthly favourites at the end of January for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below any other videos you want to see, anything else you want me to test. Let me know whether it's makeup, skincare, hair care, anything like that. I'd really like to hear from you guys. We are nearly at 300 subscribers. When I'm currently filming this, we have 299. So thank you for everyone that has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed and you really want to see some more of my content, it is free. So click subscribe down below. Ring the notification bell so you're notified when I upload. Because I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at 7pm. I am just loving how my skin's looking at the minute. And I'm trying to be positive and stay positive for this year. I just want to put positivity, positivity out into the universe. So I hope you all have a lovely day, evening, whatever time you're watching this. And I will see you on Friday. Bye, guys. <laughs>